we're going to continue looking at different types of poetry. Today we're going to read one. It's called Catch a Little Rhyme, and its author's name is Eve Merriam. Now, from this fancy book, I've got some information about Eve Merriam. She was born in 1916, so a hundred and a few years ago. She was born in Philadelphia. She received uh, an award for her excellent children's poetry in 1981, and she wrote several books. It's called That's the name of the poem that we're going to be reading. Very cool. Um, let's see. This is an interesting bit. They tell us a little bit about the poem in this fancy teacher book. The speaker of this lyric poem unsuccessfully tries to catch an elusive rhyme by chasing it with a bicycle, a boat, etc. Elusive means it's hard to grab a hold of. Every time the speaker tries to hold on to the rhyme, it changes into something else. A bicycle, a cat, a whale, until in the end, the wind carries it away. It's a very cool poem. And uh, it introduces something that we're going to call couplets, and I'll explain to that. I'll explain what that means right after I finish reading it. Here we go. Catch a Little Rhyme by Eve Merriam. Once upon a time, I caught a little rhyme. I set it on the floor, but it ran right out the door. I chased it on my bicycle, but it melted to an icicle. I scooped it up in my hat, but it turned into a cat. I caught it by the tail, but it stretched into a whale. I followed it in a boat, but it changed into a goat. When I fed it tin and paper, it became a tall skyscraper. Then it grew into a kite and flew far out of sight. All right, Catch a Little Rhyme by Eve Marion. There's some very cool things in there. I want to show you something called Rhyme Scheme, okay? And... On my little board here, I've got a couple lines from our poem. It's not the whole poem. In fact, this is part of the poem here. And I've got this cool little break here. It just means there's extra stuff in here that I took out. And then these are the last few couplets of the poem. I set it on the floor, but it ran right out the, whoops, sorry. But it ran right out the door. I chased it on my bicycle, but it melted into an icicle. I want to point some things out to you especially these last words. I set it on the floor, right? Because poems often rhyme, but they don't always. But it ran right out the door. See how floor and door rhyme? I chased it on the floor, but it melted into an icicle. Icicle, icicle, loose rhyme. Here's what we call this. Because floor and door are the first two, we're gonna put A next to and a next to door, okay? Bicycle and icicle also rhyme. We're going to put a B there and a B here. So, so far we've got A, A, and B, B. When we skip down to the bottom part. When I, when I fed it tin and paper, it became a, a tall skyscraper. Then it grew into a kite and flew far out of sight. I'm going to put different letters here, C and C for paper and skyscraper, and then for kite and sight, I'll put D and D. So something I want to point out, we've got four different letters in this example. We've got A's, B's, C's, and D's. We change them each time because each of the endings of these couplets, floor and door, bicycle, icicle, paper, skyscraper, kite and sight. They rhyme with each other with the same letters, but they don't rhyme together. So each letter is different. Floor and door don't rhyme with kite and sight, so they get different letters. So that's called rhyme scheme. And now here's how you would answer the question, what is the rhyme scheme of this poem? Because it goes A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. Um, it's a pattern that repeats. We're really just going to talk about these first ones. So we would say, the rhyme scheme of this poem is A, A, B, B. And it just repeats from there. Most of them do something really close to that. So your assignment, I'm going to give you two different poems. One of them is going to be called The Crocodile by Lewis Carroll. And the other is By Myself by Eloise Greenfield. And I want you to read through those poems. 
They're going to be PDF files that you can add to, or you can just print it out and write it on there yourself. And I want you to, like I did here, at the end of each line, the ones that go together get the same letter. The ones that go together but don't rhyme with the first set get different letters. I want you to label all those on the poem, each of the poems, and then tell me the rhyme scheme for each poem. And take your best guess, because I know AABB might not make total sense to you or whatever scheme you end up coming up with, but you're going to have a pretty good guess because you guys all know what rhyming words are, and you know to look at the end of the, of the, of the line of poetry to find the rhyming words. All right, you've got this. Good job, guys.